Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode. In this episode, I will show you the project setup. Before heating up, please make sure that Java, Eclipse EEID, MySQL Server and Workbench. Also, Tomcat has been installed properly on your system. I hope that you are done with those. If not, please check the link in the description below how to do those. Now let's uh, go and open your Eclipse ID. If you are a guest in my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to get next update. Now let's create a new project. Click this file and uh, check out dynamic web project and give a project name. I am going to name it uh, shopping cart and click on next. Everything is alright and mark on generate web.xml and click on finish. It will take few times. All right, our project has been created and I'm expanding the project, but I'm going to convert this project as a Maven project. Actually, why Maven? Maven is a dependency manager. It helps us to get a required jar file from the internet. I will download the jar file and add it to our project, but Maven will do that for us. So let's say right click your project and go to configure and convert to a Maven project. And here actually group ID is your package name. So I'm going to make a package name as cn.tech tutorial and click on finish. Okay, our Maven project has been created and this is our pom.xml file where we will write our dependency name and the Maven will download the dependency from the internet and add it to our project so for that you must need an internet connection i'm going to close it right now and here you can see our java source file files and we have a web content folder so in web content folder i'm going to create a few files and folders so first of all i'm going to create a folder whose name is uh, product image product images in this folder I'm going to store my product images and then we need some of our files JSP pages so first pages will be our index.jsp okay click on finish now we need a few more pages for our login card and orders pages so let's go and create those Okay, I'm finished to create all those JSP files and now let's run our project. It's running or not. Go to the index page and uh, click on run on Tomcat. Select your Tomcat server. Click on next. Sometimes my Eclipse uh, not responding. So I'm uh, removing all my old project and just running only shopping cart project and click on finish and it will give us a message okay it's running okay it started successfully and opened my default browser uh, it's running but it's empty nothing is here so let's uh, give a heading here hello world and uh, try to refresh this page okay that means it's pointing to our index page no matter now let's set up bootstrap in our project so first uh, uh, go to the getbootstrap.com slash docs slash 4.0 because i'm going to use 4.0 and then from there grabs their cdn okay i'm copying the cdn links and paste it in your header file index dot jsp page and inside the head and also going to grabs the javascript cdn copy copy those and paste it underneath the h1 tag i'm going to remove all the anonymous and integrity it's not required so now notice that we have our bootstrap cdn link in our header and footer we need 
those bootstrap CDN in every pages login.jsp page card.jsp page and orders.jsp page so I'm going to separate those file to a different JSP page so let's create those pages so first one is going to our let's click a folder which one will be in includes inside the includes I'm going to create a two JSP pages first one is name it to head.jsp page and second one name it to footer.jsp page now i'm going to copy those uh, head part to our header.jsp file so i'm going to copy ctrl x and paste it here okay so make the title separate to space uh, individuals okay so then i'm saving the head.jsp file so and then what i will do i will include this file to our every jsp base so just like in your project if you have hundreds of jsp files you just include that jsp files you don't need to uh, copy the paste uh, the bootstrap cdn to every page you just include the jsp file and copy that script file and paste it to our footer.jsp base okay so done we don't need to do anything with those two pages and just include it here so what is the just include tag so add which is include and you can say file and where is that file or includes folder includes slash uh, head.jsp okay. so you can just copy this on and replace that script file with the our footer file okay. footer file so now let's check it out that's those file has been included or not go back to my browser um, cut this window and refresh it and uh, I think it's not included so let's check it out because our font size has been changed oh, okay it's included you see that our uh, script has been included and our style sheet has been included all right so it's working now what to do just uh, do the same thing with our login page and cart page and order page just I did uh, copy and paste to save time so just uh, name the title yeah okay shopping cart uh, shopping cart login and uh, okay you can say it cut pages cut page and in oh i see i should put it in login page and in order space it is orders page and index page we make the title welcome to shopping cart welcome to shopping cart shop i think it will be your company name so just save all those files okay now let's design our login page go back to our login page and uh, get rid of this h1 tag and here write deep class which is our bootstrap class containers and inside the container uh, take another div element with 50% uh, width so div class which is name it card uh, with uh, 50 and I'm making it center mx auto and give a margin to y axis 5 and uh, give a header to this card item div 
class which is a card header and i am making it text to the center make it use a login and take a div with class card body and these are bootstrap class okay inside the card body i will create a form with post method so let's do that make it action and method equal to post i will name the action name later i put the action later when we'll create our supply so now create an input field for email and password form group this is our bootstrap default form design it has a label label is email address and the input field input field has a class is a form control and name it to log email or login and uh, type put it at the first type email sorry not email and this field is required this field is required and we can also do a placeholder placeholder enter your let's uh, do this select this and uh, copy and paste and change this to password type is password form control so login password login password placeholder can put some star here because password should be invisible and this one is also required and i'm going to put a button here so deep deep class i'm making it center create a button type should be submit class will be button button primary so login so i think i am done with that then you can do some formatting just uh, control shift f in your windows now go to a login page just to refresh it and go to login.jsp page okay our uh, login page is done so i think this project is enough for today in next video i will show you the navigation and we will implement the login system using the database so see you in next video but if you are new on my channel please do subscribe and turn on notification so bye bye